How come you never see a billboard on the side of the highway getting changed over to a new ad? Never. I don't think I've ever... I'm 43. I don't think I've ever seen it. How do they do that? Okay, this is part three in my series of videos on the Sonic Cake Sonic Bar series. Uh, part four, if you count the initial unboxing video that I did. Uh, this is the multi-effects unit in this series geared towards metal players called the Black Hammer. Let's see how this thing sounds. <laughs>
Yeah, I, as I've said a, a few times uh, about these uh, about these units already, these are designed to be you know they're 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 they're, they're clones of the uh, the Tech Twenty One Fly Rigs is what they are, except they're you know actually smaller and even more compact. Uh, you know, typically you know three or four you know in most cases four different effects. Uh, you know, basically just you know stomp boxes that are all you know assembled together in the same housing. Uh, it's really what this is. It's four different stomp boxes all in one housing. That's what this is. Uh, the idea being that, you know, you can take something this small and compact and stuff it in your gig bag, stuff it in your guitar case, stuff it in your backpack, and that is all that you need to get out on the road and go play a road show uh, running this thing direct out straight to the soundboard, you know, rather than into an amplifier. Uh, of course, you can you can absolutely run this into an amplifier, you know, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but I think the original design for these, you know, uh, was to be ran direct straight into a board or a, 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 an impulse response of some kind, you know, two notes, capper, capter X, something along those lines. The idea behind it, of course, being very compact, very portable, uh, and uh, very, very convenient to take to your next gig all, on the road, all at an affordable price and this absolutely does accomplish that very very well you know i actually really really like the high gain distortion on here i think it sounds really really good uh the chorus is a really really thick thick watery uh you know type of chorus which is right you know really saturated type of sound which is really right up my alley i i, I kind of like that sound quite a bit but you can also dial it back to a little bit more subtle uh settings a la Zach Wild. Zach Wild loves to use chorus on his guitar tone. Uh, you know, of course, the delay is a standard three knob delay that is you know pretty simple for anybody to use, and also does the job just fine and sounds great. Uh, and of course, last but not least, you have the boost for solo boost, which is very very handy. So all of this in a very very compact housing that's about a foot long, maybe, and all for under a hundred bucks. Links down in the description if you need them. Please comment down below if you haven't already. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.